Hello. Good morning, Valtopia. Good day. Greetings wherever you are throughout the world and the cosmos. Welcome to Valtopia TV, honey. I'm Val. As you know, or if you're new to me, welcome. I am a cosmic visionary guide. I support leaders, creative visionary leaders, to embody the dreams they've been holding in their heart and to really show up as epically and impactfully as they know they're meant to, despite whatever everybody else around them is saying, despite their fears. We all have those and we can shift our mindset into a greater, expansive, more beautiful space of being. And that is what I help and support myself and my tribe to do every day. Hey, Allie, welcome to Vatopia TV. Look at it out here, it's gorgeous. And I'm fired up. I, I loved that weekend in San Diego this weekend. Um, I, if you haven't been watching and you're watching the replay, let me know. And um, I, uh, having time away from your usual routine and giving yourself space to tune in and really see how you think and feel is the most blessing gift that you can do for yourself and everyone that knows you. The more tense and uptight and unclear you are on how, how you want to be and who you are and what you're feeling, the more all that stuff just hangs and layers over you and keeps you from doing what it is you really want to do. Can I get an amen? Um, so taking time, investing in whatever guides you feel will open you up to your limitless possibilities and get you over the stories and beliefs and conditionings that keep you from being who you desire to be, that keep you from eating the nourishing food you desire, that keep you from um, uh, uh, learning the thing that you've always wanted to learn, that keep you from having the relationship you dream and desire of. It's all the same thing and comes down to our own willingness to look at ourselves and be with ourselves and choose who and what we want to be. Isn't that powerful? Terrifying, honey, but powerful. Let me see these comments. Hi, Shafina. Oh, you're, um, you're from the island. Amen. Yes. So this is what we're going to get into in the kick-ass group I'm offering. And um, I'll talk about that some more. Uh, I want to tell you guys a story about something that happened when I was in San Diego that's really powerful and will give you an idea of what it means to advance in your own well-being and own your frequency and, and really be who you are in this new way of being where you do regenerate yourself daily. You allow your own new beliefs to come through and you don't stay mired in ancient viewpoints and other people's beliefs, right? So, um, hi Donna. So, I um, was sitting in the hotel bar having my dinner. I was staying there that night. And so I just, I loved being, um, having the time to myself up in my hotel room and then just coming down to the hotel lobby and hanging out with people. I realized when I got home, I was kind of lonely, like nobody was around because I didn't have my kids until tonight. And I was like, oh, I liked having my little hotel lobby friends. But um, so I was down there and I was in a, a luminous, Space of being because I had released all those um, dreadful fears and feelings that were coming up on the eclipse and uh, I, I dropped my um, if you guys haven't seen it yet I put all my fuck yeah cards into an animated movie and you can watch it spin and you can do your reading every day you can find it on the the thing on the page on the Valtopia Studios page so I I had dropped that in a group in Maru's group infinite receiving which I love her and um, one woman responded to the grounding post. And so I could tell that she was highly empathic. It just knew, just a knowing. I don't know her, I don't know anything about her. And I said, do you know what that means for you? And she said, kind of. And I said, she private messaged me. And um, I said, do you, would you like to know what it feels like to feel grounded? And she said, yes, I would. And so um, with her permission, I just tuned in quickly to her and she felt me tune in and then I did the grounding with her and she said I feel tingling in my feet and I said that's it exactly you're this is you grounding and so uh, she was delighted and felt peaceful and lighter than before she had spoken to me 
And then she messaged me the next day that she uh, had was in a store and felt this urge to speak to someone. But then she started getting in her head about it and kind of tripping out about it. She started getting a kind of panic, feeling the energy of the other person. And she remembered to ground. She took a moment, did the grounding. Then she started connecting in with her own truth about it, not the other people's feelings she was picking up on. And she ended up following her intuition and speaking to this woman. And she has a new client. Just from me giving a few moments of my time, which I was delighted to give in that moment, it was worked out. And, you know, the ripple effect you can have for learning to, um, you know, take care of yourself and, and not allow yourself to stay um, mired in your own grief or fears or separation or unhealthy, whatever, whatever that's not aligned for you that you know damn well you don't want to be doing and you know very well that it's not helping you become who you desire to be. You know it. You know We all know it. And then we go ahead and numb out or do whatever it is that we do to keep on telling ourselves the story that it's hard and, and that we don't know what to do or we don't know how to do it. You see? So this is what we're doing in Clean Slate Clear Vision, honey. It became real clear to me on the way home from San Diego that this is about giving up habits and ideas and beliefs that we have tried to let go of and we won't. And we think we know we want to, but we are doubt that we will. Are you going to fulfill and follow through on those New Year resolutions you set, on the intentions that you know your soul has told you what? You said it with proclamation and glee and joy. And now you're looking at it going, Am I really going to go on that diet? Am I really going to dump that douche? Am I really going <laughs> to, you know, meet that financial goal that I've set for myself? Whatever it is that you're setting, um, are you questioning yourself in this moment and thinking, how the fuck am I going to do that? I know I've let myself down in the past. So let me see what the comments. Ali says, how do you so keep yourself grounded and calm if you have to move in with people who don't support your mental and spiritual well-being? Wow. Woo. Look, this is what we're going to be getting into in the group experience. There are beliefs and conditions and ideas and feelings and energetic entanglements that we just simply have to take time to release day after day after day. It's our privilege to be a, be a, a human in this amazing planet where if you truly plug in to the depth of your knowing and regenerate daily, you can have the most amazing, blissful, compassionate, loving experience no matter what the fuck is going on. Did that one sink in? The scary part is that it is up to us to choose every day more and more to live in that experience. And I felt myself coming into a new level of awareness I, I actually had real things happening to me in my life in San Diego real people I was meeting that reflected back to me all the beliefs and desires I've been writing in my journal and meditating about and allowing myself to feel in before they were there before they were here right I trusted that every day even when I couldn't see the evidence of it I write it down I think about it I feel into it I'm not perfect, don't write in my journal every single day, and I have the results to show for that. Like, the more that you spend time tuning into yourself and allowing that feeling and knowing and beingness to come into place. Now, it's not all about just sitting there and wishing on a star. It's called sit down, get real, and then do something about it. <laughs> so, um, I found I had many, many, many beliefs and ideas and attachments to clear so many and I believe that I had so many because I'm I'm destined to be a, the most amazing guide and you can come to me with all your excuses and I'm gonna tell you I know I did that too now can we get back to what you're really supposed to do can we really tuck into it and Donna knows <laughs> I don't plug into your stuff I don't plug into your stuff I'm a bird's eye view for you and that's what we're gonna do in this group um, we're gonna listen to this powerful clearing and then yesterday I delivered another recording for you guys. And this morning I was talking to one of my private clients 
and uh, we were going to a whole new level with her, and <laughs> everything I was saying to her was what came through on that recording. So it's very clear that there's a progression that the divine energy has been gifted to me. Like I've had the courage to step out and make the banner and invite you into the group and put myself out there and offer it up. And now divine is delivering me content for you guys. So whoever's meant to be in there, it's already coming through for you. And that's what I was saying on the recording yesterday. I was like, I know you haven't booked in yet, but here you are. I feel you. I see you. I know you. And we are not going to um, give up on ourselves this time. There are things we want to let go and decisions our soul has guided us that we know if we do this thing, we're going to come into uh, more clarity. And what does clarity provide for you? It's that clear connection, that sense of peace and bliss when you do have creativity and you do feel relaxed and ideas do come more easily to me and you do have synergy and synchronicity and you do meet the people that you know you were meant to be. If you're bogged down in other people's baloney and your own addictions and uh, bad habits and you're layered all down, you just can't see the forest for the trees, right? So um, Shafina says, I've not made one. You're too afraid to make one. Yeah, you're afraid you're not going to follow through. Yeah, well, that's what you're going to get then. If you won't make the commitment, that's what you get. <laughs> How does that feel, Shafina? Does that feel safe to you? Does that feel more cozy? Not making the commitment and then just deciding, well, I guess I'm not going to do that. I know how that feels because I'm going through some stuff myself. We always are. That's why I design containers to keep me propelled in momentum through to my rockets of desire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and it does it, it does help to you just have to put one foot out there before there's even any ground below you and know that the ground's going to come there and that, know that if you fall in the water well then you'll find a way up on out of there but you're not going to stay stuck where you are because you won't make that commitment how does that feel mm, Shafina so that's the message I wanted to bring through about the grounding and about sharing your messages as you learn them sharing with those around you you know as you learn each new trick and wonderful bit of wisdom that helps you be more peaceful and connect more deeply into yourself and get over the past and become a cosmic warrior of light and creation share that shit you know and open up other people don't pro proselytize don't bug people who don't want it people, and put show yourself and then when people ask questions we'll then be glad to answer and help and, and if you're ready to make a commitment to yourself and you're, you're looking at yourself in the mirror going, I don't know, I, I can't make that commitment. I need some support. I've created a really easy container for the next two weeks. Um, it's, I got to put the start date, but it'll be for two weeks. Sorry. Um, I think we're starting, I'll post it. <laughs> and um, we're going to clear any like spiritual dogma, any sort of religious re beliefs, stuff from your grandparents and your you know, we clear that stuff in these recordings and in the energy. And then we just talk about the habits each day. We have to face it every day and get into a better place of mindset and being and learn some tricks that you can carry through you with you. Yeah. Anybody got any more comments to say? I got two people on this fiery sermon. <laughs> I guess I should have shared it a few places, but um, it's beautiful to be able to connect with you in this way and I'm loving that there's more and more people on our page and more and more interactions each time um, I go live and it's like, super exciting um, but I'm, it's coming through whether you sign up for it or not you can catch the replay I'm sure I'll market the replay but I would catch it live you're gonna get the live energy and it's it's the divine container there's your spirit guides are calling you into it if you feel it so Fiery, right, Donna? I know. Well, that's what comes from my own clarity. And I was telling myself last night, it's like the more clear you are, the better things get. So why do anything or be with anybody or choose any sort of activity that uh, keeps you from being in that beautiful space of clarity and receiving and connection? I choose the connection. Yeah, is that hard? Yeah, that can be hard. It doesn't have to be. It's not hard when you know how beautiful it is on the other side of making that difficult decision and getting through the, you know, your fear mind doesn't want to give stuff up or change. That's why we're afraid to make commitments. But um, you got to learn to turn that fear mind down or assuage it, you know, make it feel safe and keep doing what you're doing anyhow. Yeah, that's what's going on. All right, Valtopia, listen. Donna, thank you. I have a new recording coming through, so we've we got to call some people into the group so we can allow this experience to come through 
and um, I'll put the links when I get back to the studio and own your frequency, hun. There's nobody like you. Hey, look, it's Venice. Ooh.